The rivers of the Amazon basin and surrounding areas are often vast, dark and deep. The overhanging vegetation is often awash with berries and nuts, which often fall into the water beneath. Both wild and domestic animals also frequent the banks to gain access to the waters for refreshment. But beneath those dark depths, there can lay a creature with a somewhat tainted reputation. The piranha. Piranhas have never had the best of reputations. You only need to refer to the 1978 cult film Piranha, in which a pack of piranhas escape a military experiment gone wrong and feast on unexpecting lake swimmers. And then there was the 2010 remake, where prehistoric piranhas devour humans in three-dimensional detail. Both then and now, Hollywood certainly has not done the piranha any favours. But are these freshwater fish the vicious river monsters that they're made out to be? Today, piranhas inhabit the freshwaters of South America from the Orinoco River Basin in Venezuela up to the Piranha River in Argentina. Though estimates vary, around 30 species currently inhabit the lakes and rivers of South America. Fossil evidence puts piranha's ancestors in the continent's rivers 25 million years ago, but modern piranha genera may have only been around for 2 million years. Piranhas are known for their razor-sharp teeth and relentless bite, and the word piranha literally translates to toothfish in the Brazilian language. Adults have a single row of interlocking teeth lining the jaw. True piranhas have triscupid teeth, with a more pronounced middle cuspid or crown, about 4 millimetres tall. The shape of a piranha's tooth is frequently compared to that of a blade and is clearly adapted to suit their meat-eating diet. The actual tooth enamel structure is similar to that of sharks. Although they are hardly as menacing as fiction suggests, piranhas do have a powerful bite. In a 2012 study in scientific reports, researchers found that black or red-eye piranhas, Ceralamunus rhombius, the largest of modern species, bite with a maximum force of 33 kilograms, essentially three times their own body weight. In a 1972 study in red-bellied piranhas, found that the fish most frequently attacked goldfish in a laboratory setting, beginning with their prey's tail and or eyes. The researchers concluded that such an attack strategy would effectively immobilise piranha's opponents and prove useful for survival. Part of a piranha's fierce reputation stems from the fact that they often swim in packs. Red-bellied piranhas are particularly known as pack hunters. Though it might seem an advantageous hunting technique, as more fish could theoretically take down a larger foe, their behaviour actually stems from fear. The idea that a piranha could rip a human to shreds is probably more legend than fact. For the curious, popular science spoke to some experts who estimated that stripping the flesh from an 82 kilogram human in five minutes would require approximately three to 500 piranhas. Cases of heart attack and epilepsy that ended with the afflicted drowning in a South American river do show evidence of piranha nibbles, but in those instances the victim was already deceased when piranhas got involved. While the myth of man-eating piranhas belongs to the movie theatres, the internet has a wealth of mysterious footage of piranha packs taking down capybaras. Some piranhas do occasionally eat small mammals, but as with humans, it's usually when the unfortunate animal is already dead or gravely injured. Though piranhas have a reputation for attacking, there's not much evidence to support the legend. Just like grizzly bears, all sharks and pretty much any large scary thing with teeth. Piranhas will leave you alone if you leave them alone. For fishermen, untangling a piranha from a net or a hook is where things can get dicey. In most cases, if they bite you, they will only bite once and they usually go for the toes or feet.